What's up everybody? Robbie here. We are in the beautiful country of South Africa. We have a special treat for you today. We're here with, um, you guys want to introduce yourselves again to the, the channel? Nathan. Nathan. And Vian. Vian. They're my brothers. They're her brothers. My so. naughty little brothers. Yeah, naughty. <laughs> Nikki's also naughty. Ah, anyway. <laughs> anyway, so we've been in South Africa for about what almost three weeks now we leave tomorrow but before we leave uh we wanted to do a little video similar to one of the videos we had in the past the where nikki and i tried south african food yeah sorry Nathan's, my brothers are a little bit camera shy or Nathan's at least camera Nathan shy. i'm not camera shy i just know what to do yeah, yeah he doesn't shy. know what to do with his hands anyway so we did a video, me and Nikki, where we tried South African food and we thought it'd be fun to bring some American food, some snacks and candies, mostly candy, yeah. over for them to try and rate to see if it's really better than it in South so Africa. We, we're rating it out of 10? So you're going to rate it out, five. out of 5. Okay. So we rated ours out of 5. Yeah. So in this video, you guys are going to rate out of 5. Nikki and I aren't going to vote, but we still may eat because yes. we have a lot. We have to enjoy it with them. Yeah, so it's mostly candy, but anyway, I'm going to set up the camera and we're going to okay. go ahead and dive right in. Uh, we'll start. Candy number one. What we got? Reese's Pieces. Pieces. We did have the real Reese's, but we ended up giving it as a Christmas gift to somebody. I just realized I showed that under upside down. So there you go. Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. All right. So do all we want to explain what it is, or they just want to go dive right in? But it's just dive, just dive right in. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So South Africa actually does have Reese's cups. I think they're Which fairly new. Which we didn't new. know. Yeah, we didn't know they. But had they it. don't have the pieces. So yeah. Yeah. We have to say something before we eat it. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, it looks like like Skittles. They look like Skittles. Skittles are like South African stuff. Right, they cool, usually cool. have jelly in, so I don't know like these. All right, three, two, one, eat. Oh, I already started. Oh, you guys already started. It's like peanut butter. Yeah. I know Robbie doesn't like this one as much. He doesn't I don't. like peanut butter and chocolate. But it's not about me, it's about them. Mm. All right, so what's your first reaction? It's like, it's it's really crunchy for the for the small thing that it is. So, um, but it's not that bad. And it tastes like that, um, like a peanut butter chunk, like a Kit Kat. Okay. Peanut chunky Kit Kat, it tastes oh, like the same. Yeah. I don't know what those are. And you? It tastes like I took a spoon put it in peanut butter and just ate it. <laughs> Tastes like peanut butter. Now, do you guys have like peanut butter chocolate candies here? Only the Kit Kat one. Yeah, only but the Kit Kat one. I'm not a fan of peanut butter stuff. Okay. Okay, but if you guys, so rate it out of five. Yeah, how many Lakers do you get? Well, I'll eat three. it in like a movie, movie like in the cinema, I'll, I'll eat these. So I'll give it like a three. All right, so we got yeah. a three from Vion and a three from Nathan. Yeah, three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. It's okay, I need a fun. Cool, it's not cool. that bad. But. <laughs> no, I don't really care for them either. Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike's. Which I know they have, they do have Mike and Ike's here. What oh, color boxes do they have here? Do they have green? I don't know. I I've mean, only seen bags. So Mike oh, and yeah. Ike's are fairly new also to South Africa, but we also yeah. brought them. But have you guys tried them before? They're really expensive, yeah. Oh, so they're, they're like a they, commodity. Yeah. Anyway, Mike and Ike's. This I, I'm box not a was a dollar, so. I'm not a big fan of Mike and Ike's, really. No, not really. Pink like ones are, the pink and red ones are nice. Okay. Now, since Nikki is also South African and she didn't really vote in the last video, I'm going to also include her vote. Yay, so, finally. Before we dive right in, what did you vote on those uh, Reese's? Mm. It's not my favorite. Like, I don't myself taking it i'd rather take something else but it's not bad so maybe also like a two and a half two and a half two and a half three she's picky hard to please trust me i know <laughs> okay mike and ike's you guys are already chomping down now you have a couple flavors here so if you don't like the one you're eating try a different flavor and then we'll get a full assessment and by the way these are the original mike and ike's the green box you get different flavors mm. tropical sour Stuff like that. Anyway. Mm. Fun fact, when my mom was pregnant with 
either me or my brother, she was really craving Mike and Ike's and she'd eat like a box of these a lot. Anyway. Let me see, my favorite flavor is the strawberry or the cherry. Okay. I'm gonna add these, I don't have one. I, like, I like this cherry one. I would give it a, a three. A three? Mm. Out of five? Three and a half. Okay. That's I'll actually nice. eat these, so I'll give it a four. Okay, you got a four from Vion. Three. And the three from Nathan. They taste like jelly beans. Yeah, as I was say, they're, they're a lot like mm. jelly beans. When I was little, I used to take the different flavors and I'd squish them like this, and then I'd eat them all. I like the way they look when they squish. Is that so? I don't know if you have jelly beans in America, but yeah. in South Africa we have jelly beans. No, we have jelly beans, jelly belly and all that. Oh yeah. I just right. fe felt like Thanos with a fancy complex. Next one. Alright, we'll put these two Sour aside. Patch Kids, but, um, well, this is Sour Patch Watermelon. Yeah. We did have the normal ones. We also ended up giving it away for like Christmas gifts, like putting it in Christmas gifts for people. Which is Nikki's fault because yeah. we're supposed to save it for the video. It was my fault because I just, I wanted to like just give people lots of gifts. So yeah. But it's okay because these are also nice. I really like these. Okay. Okay. So these are Sour Patch Watermelons, but original Sour Patch Kids are like little gummy kids that are sour at first, but then sweet. Mm. And um, they usually have more than one flavor than watermelon. Nah, so I'm gonna skip out on these because I do not like flavored watermelon. So, mm. and my favorite, my literally my favorite candy in America is Sour Patch Kids. I love Sour Patch Kids, and the Sour Patch Kids ice cream from Dairy Queen. I don't like I would, sour stuff, so it's not really. But go sour. ahead, eat it. Have you eaten it? No, yeah. No, yeah, no. go ahead, dive right in. You have to eat it. It's for the vlog. Thing, dude. Why are you chewing so loud? <laughs> I need a funny. It tastes nice, but like, I can't do sour stuff. Mm. It's like, not that sour, it's though. It's sour, though. but then it's sweet. That's like their whole thing. Yeah. Because the sour it's rubs it. off and then it gets really sweet. Yeah. But if you watch the commercials, there's always like a, a little Sour Patch Gummy Kid, and he does something like really bad and then he's sweet afterwards. Like he'll crack an egg on somebody's face, but then he'll make an omelet afterwards for the person or something like that. And anyway. taking my omelet. Okay. okay. Sour Patch Kids. So this is not the traditional Sour Patch Kids, but it's the closest thing we got. Yeah. I'll give it a one. Well, a, okay, but he didn't have I'm the real Sour Patch Kids. downgrading it. But he doesn't I, like sour things. So yeah. anyway, let his opinion be what it is. Yeah, what okay, is yours? Okay, okay. My opinion, I don't like these as much, so I'll give him like a two. But normal Sour Patch Kids, I'd give like a four. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm giving it a solid five. I like watermelon stuff. Solid five. So, if you guys ever, if he ever gets famous, you can send him a box of these. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Follow him on Instagram, and then I'll put both. By the way, I'll put both of their no. Instagrams in the bio. You guys can DM them, and then he'll give you your address. Yeah. Both of them are up. single. If you want to go on a cruise in December, hit me up. If we oh. had sour. We had sweet. Let's yeah. get a little tangy. Let's, well, a little let's get a little spicy with it. Spicy. This is actually my favorite chips from America. So most of our things are candy, but we do have one bags of chips, and the reason why we grab these is because these are Nikki and I's favorite chips. Yeah, it's uh, what do you call them again? Hot fries. Hot fries. Yeah. They're made by the guys who do Cheetos. Oh, they're like chili fries. Ah, uh, chili, chili fries. fries. I guess chili. So yeah, I guess. Flaming hot. This Red looks like something. If you don't like someone, you'll buy them this pack of chips. So <laughs> what? They can have the like, rest of the day on the toilet or something. Oh no, the, the exit on this is, yeah, but. The enter is much worth it. Yeah. The pain afterwards. Trust me, I had that pain not too long ago. With this pain? Don't worry about it. You'll find out in a couple hours. It really tastes like, you know the spices you throw over like at KFC? Over the chips? It's, now, it tastes like this. I have to explain that. In, in America, we don't throw spices over our fries. They call it chips. <clears throat> yeah. This would be chips. Yeah. Well, there it says fries. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a little confusing. Anyway. We call them slop chips or chips. Which is french fries. Yeah, we rarely call, call them fries. Well, we call these fries chips. <laughs> you have water. <laughs> <laughs> these are like, you, you just have to eat them fast because then your mouth doesn't burn as much. And it burns afterwards. Why you didn't a you just bit... tell us you could before we ate it? <laughs> just keep eating. Just take some more. Yeah. It, it's like the flame puts out the other flame, mm. but then puts another flame. 
So you just keep eating these. These are the reason why I got fat. Okay. Yeah, they are nice. I'll give them a, a, a three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. It's not chips that you eat at a party or something. It's chips you eat alone when you're watching Netflix. That's mm. that's really spot on. Because you actually don't buy really that's big good, bags wisdom. of these. Mm, in in the U.S. you buy only a small bags. This is a small bag and you get one that's a slightly bigger. But you never buy like party sized bags of Flaming Hot fries. Mm. So anyway. These are our favorite but you got three and a half. Three and a half. They're not bad but I don't like the good. So I'll give it three. A three. Get a, two. a two. A two. Okay, we take that back. A two. I give it a five. I, I'm not African, but I also give it a five. <laughs> so, okay. all right, that was our only chips. So the rest are still going to be candy. Whoppers. Whoppers. It looks a lot like whispers. whispers. Whispers is literally my favorite candy besides speckled eggs in South Africa. Yeah. So if you watched our last video, I actually tried whispers. Yeah. And they're all right. It's not, they're amazing. You gave them a five out of five. What do you mean? But compared to America, where everything is like a ten, except for the women, you're a ten. Aww. Nine and a half. What's that golf golf applause? Sometimes her breast stinks, and it's. <laughs> I talk about my sister. He's the one to talk. Now, one thing to say, in South Africa, they do have versions of our candy or our versions of theirs, or whatever. They're very similar. So these are what, these actually would be what? Look at the power. <laughs> My Whopper is broken, so I'll grab another one. There's nothing inside of it. Yeah. Okay, when you get sorry. old, when I get old, my Whopper will be broken too. <laughs> Gross, this is PG-13. <laughs> I don't like Whoppers that much. I give it a one. Ow. I'm going with her. One? Can I give a, like, a description of how it tastes? Go ahead. It has a texture of a crunchy. Mm -hmm. Like I know it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a crunchy then, bar. And then, but it tastes like Cocoa Pops that was in the sun for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound good. So that's the, that's how my, I'm Stale cereal it. with it, chocolate. It, yeah. it does taste better when you suck it though. Because if it's, it's really hard. <laughs> it just gave me a tooth pain. <laughs> yeah, it's really it, it will. Hard, yeah. Oh. But these, you have Maltesers. And to me, those are, they're Maltesers. I've never had them. The Maltesers in South Africa are very similar because they're both malt balls, whatever the heck that means. Mm. But I've yeah, had those. The Whispers those. is a honeycomb inside. Yeah, the Whispers, the one he was talking about, the one that I tried in the last video, it's actually honey on the inside. These mm. are not. It's like, I don't know what malt is. It's milk. It's, it's like, like, you know what it is when you froth the milk? Oh, yeah, there's yeah. like the foam. They take that and they freeze that. That's malt. All right, that's what she says, so I guess it is. Okay, so Whoppers are a no-go for either one of you. So no. one, 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 also one. Or no one. Okay. <laughs> one. Okay. Do we want a candy or a chocolate bar next? Uh, we just ate chocolate, so let's go with um, American Smarties. Which is not Smarties. I don't know. All right. So in is. South Africa, you they got Smarties, which is a completely different candy. We have our Smarties. Hard it's to focus on because they're in small just ones. Open one. Yeah, our Smarties is like a chocolate. They're almost like M and M's. Yeah. Almost yeah. Like but just with chocolate, not peanut butter. So M and M's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but this our is Smarties like... are like a powdered sugar hard. Yeah. Yeah, we have these. Yeah, it's like this. It's like this little tablet. If I look at it, we have these, but like. What are they called again? I forgot. I don't know, but don't know. it's just like two rand. It's about what, like one penny in America. Mm. But it's like stuff they sell at the tuck shop at when, the schools. Yeah. No, it's the same. These are very cheap at schools. When I was little in school, we used to take them. And we'd grind them up real quick. We open we would up a sniff slot. Them. We would not sniff them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's been doing with our Smarties. I'm kidding. No, we grind them up to like a powder, powder, and we'd like quickly suck up the hole and then blow, and it looked like we were smoking. So we pretend we were smoking. We were like in second, third grade. Just um, I've actually never had these. The kids in our school, we, they did it with shibboleth. Mm. Mm. Okay, rate them. I give them a one. I don't like them. Well, I'm best. I loved them when I was small, so I'll give them a five. A five? Ooh, okay. Yeah. Four. Four. Nice. Okay, so All next... Right, so, hold on, before we go, okay. let me just say, the next three ones are chocolate bars, so we're going to have to break off a piece for each. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure these chocolate bars aren't in South Africa. If they are, they're in specialty shops. I've never seen them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've never seen them here when I lived here, but I know there are some, like, crunches that are here and stuff like that. Mm. 
So yeah. if you're South African and you're watching this and you see this, it's not like we knew or not. We're just yeah. saying that we've never experienced We're pretty it. sure it's not here, but and we might be wrong. Yeah. But we're like, I'm pretty sure. You guys have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, Okay. first so, one, what we got? The first one is called a Butterfinger. Butterfinger. Ooh wee. Yeah. Anything but her finger. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. No, yep. <laughs> You're not that good. Either. This is how they look on the inside. It looks a little weird. It looks like a little chocolate. Yeah. Oh, it or a piece look. of poop. It's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna try to break these into smaller pieces. Now, if you okay. can't see what is going on in the camera, like when she pulls it up, just Google these, and you'll see the brand or see the photo. Yeah. Or a lot of fingers. Okay, butter another fingers. peanut butter. <laughs> it's not. I'm sure it's just peanut butter. It's technically not. It's not butter. It's not. You know what? It's they really can't crummy. Get one there. <laughs> what noise was that? I'm He's choking. Cho choking on her finger. Mm. It produces like peanut sweeties. Like peanut sweeties, it's all that hot. That's not sweet and calm. Not even a calm. It's like just a peanut. It's peanut brittle. Mm. Well, Chocolate covered just, like brittle. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. Like mm. Reese's. You can't eat it that. without soda or something. No, my mouth is something. very dry. Yeah. It's really, really dry. It's like you're eating a pile of sand. Mm. Yeah. Good sand, though. Mm. Anyway. All right, Nikki, what's your rating? Four. What? Four? Four and a half. Four and a half. Man, you guys love these and a halves. I'm just saying. America, they don't have a lot of good chocolates. South Africa beats America with chocolates. You found one chocolates. thing that America is not good at. Wrong. Making chocolates. Mm. Dude, hold on. Like, I don't... First of all, I'm pretty sure Willy Wonka was in America. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chocolate with nougat. Oh, it's a nougat in chocolate. chocolate. We have it's those too. A lot of ours are like that. But no, this one is fully nougat. It's just a small little layer of chocolate. I've realized in your chocolates, you only use a little bit of nougat. Yeah, I guess. What's one the one that has nougat in ours? Ba I think Baby Ruth actually has one. Well, read the lapper. Our next, next candy. One. Yeah. Baby Ruth. Yeah, it has chewy nougat. Yeah, so this is yeah, chocolate nougat. covered nougat with, um, or, or with a surprise. We're not gonna nougat. say. It. Nougat. How that's how you say it now for calling? Nugget. Yeah, this no nougat. 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 That's how you say it now for calling. Nougat. No, you gay. Jeez. Gosh. Okay. You should try chocolate log. That's nice. Chocolate log. Like, sounds like what's gonna happen tonight after I eat. <laughs> this is how it looks on the inside. It's like a creaminess inside. It's like a bar one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it looks like a bar one. That's like pieces of. I'm not really a big nuts. fan of chocolates, but I like chocolates with coconut in it. Mmm. Like, oh, enjoy. My favorite chocolate is called Nikki. Mm. It's Kiki. a. Mm. It's a Nikki coconut ball. like. In the middle, there's coconut pieces and chocolate around. That's my favorite. It's basically an almond joy. Yeah. In the U.S., we have almond joy and we have called mounds, and that's chocolate and coconut. Those are really good too. Mm. I have to stop at the store all the time and get naked those. Anyway, mm. butter. Well, not butter Ruth. Again. Baby Ruth. First of all, you guys know who Babe Ruth is? Mm -mm. No. Hell yeah, no. <laughs> Sounds like someone. The Great Bambino. The Sultan of Swat. The king of crash. The colossus of clout. The colossus of clout. Babe, Babe Ruth! Ruth! The great Bambino! Sorry, I don't focus on America's theme. Babe Ruth was a famous baseball player from the Yankees. He's one of the all-time greats. Yeah, but we don't hear anything about baseball. Well, that makes we sense. We don't care about it. So. <laughs> anyway, Babe Ruth. It's named after Babe Ruth. Which is a guy, not a babe. <laughs> No, well, in America, Americans. you don't know. Have you never like, seen Sandlot? Like the movie The Sandlot? No. But I've seen stuff like The Blind Side. That was a cool movie. Okay. What is American football? Moving on. Baby Ruth. It's like a two. two. I don't like them that much. Oh, I called it. You have to put that on. I called it behind her back. She's going to say two. <laughs> <laughs> what is it for uh, you? I'm giving it a three. It's not okay, a Okay, okay. It tastes like a, a softball one. So. And it will go three. nice with like a milkshake. All right, Nathan says three. The super okay. Animals, okay. All right. Okay. So we're down well, to our last one. We actually yeah. only we didn't get too too many. 
American candies um, simply because we didn't know what we could bring overseas and whatnot. There's a lot more to try, and I'm sure when they come visit America, we'll do somewhat of a similar video. Mm. Probably more uh, meats, more American like dishes and stuff. Because yeah. like in our last video, we did Buddha Borsh and Biltong and all that. And we actually did have Slim Jim beef jerky, but Nikki gave it all away. <laughs> yep. So, I had a little piece of that. But yeah, yeah, he did. Really, How like, did. It's not, oh, that's. It's like smoked, really, really, really smoked meat. Like it's yeah, it's basically it doesn't have a taste. It's, it's like, a dried out Vienna, honestly. Yeah, it just but, tasted bitter to me. So it, we don't have it with us, but they don't like the slim jumps. No, Dude, I'll eat it if I'm like on a trip, going on a trip far away. Yeah, like on the road, I'll eat it. Well, that's what people buy them for. They buy them at the gas stations. Yeah, that's what I'll, I'll eat them there. Already built. Yeah, we all would rather eat built on. <laughs> Love built on. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Last candy is called a hundred grand, and oh. that is exactly what these two just won by being on this video. <laughs> just I kidding. Finally, buy my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> we only need two hundred for that. <laughs> all right, a okay. hundred grand. Now these ones, I'm actually not too too familiar with. I've had them before, but I don't just get them. So I've had them once. I, I haven't had it in a while. I actually like them. Mm. They're a little melted now, as you can Trek, see. Trek, yeah. We are in Africa in December, yeah. which is the summertime here. So mm -hmm. some of it melted a little bit. All right. So first first thoughts of just looking at it. What are you seeing? Mm -hmm. A mess. You mean like like um, what's that long crunchy bar? I have a toothache. Why are you trying to put it on the other side? It's on both sides. Oh, yeah. I do like these. I should get these more often. I like chocolates with anything like inside of them, like nuts. I like anything crunchy. I like them with my chocolate. It tasted like I took a Kit Kat and a ball one and just smacked it together. Is that a good thing? There's a little bit of that crunch bar. Mm, that's the, mm. So what that is, is it's rice actually on top. It's like crispy rice. Mm. Like rice krispies. Yeah, like right. rice krispies. Mm. So, yeah, 100 grand. What's the vote? Mm. I give it like a three and a half. Three and a half. I'll, I'll give it a five, but it's really long. It's like really chewy. Mm. Yeah, so that's I'll give the, it a four for that. So four. Okay, that's the caramel. Anyway. Four. Oh. Four? All right, so out of all the candy bars, this was the best one. Candy bars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Ah, 100 grand. 100 grand. Now you know, South Africans like that kind of stuff. Oh, anyway, nice. so that's it for our treats. Um, moving on, what is like, uh, what is your general idea of American candy? So if you were to eat all of these and just come up with one statement on the candy, what would you say? Quote, now what, what um, Robbie, I need to put in Robbie's quote. What was it? Well, it tastes better, what? When you suck it. <laughs> when you suck it. I'll put that on, on the candy. That'll actually work. That'll be a good quote for a chocolate bar. It tastes better when you suck it. A little inappropriate, but uh, okay, yeah. Get your mind out of the gutter, Probably Nikki. what Jeez. you make of it. That's We're talking about sucking hey, candy, John. That's what I was about to say. It's what you make it. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so what do you think of American sweets? So, I'll... Uh, the majority is nice, but it's like always something I've tasted before, so it's not something new. So it's not overly sweet, not mm. less sweet. So in the comparison, what do you think? Oh, American it's much more, more chocolate. Like there's a lot more chocolate than peanut butter. Yeah. Like in all of it, it's almost a bit of peanut butter and all the sweets. Well, our, all, all of our all, all of our chocolate bars, we like putting peanuts in it. Yeah. So, yeah. Calm down with peanuts, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and you. I don't know. I don't really like the peanut butter spot, but the watermelon thingies was nice. Okay. The Mike and Ike's the The Mike and Ike's were nice. So but like the, the fruity ones. I don't really think that America has a lot of watermelon sweets. Yeah, we actually don't have anything really specific. They're always like special versions. Yeah. If someone can make a watermelon flavored chocolate, I'll buy it any day. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I also don't know about that. That's nasty. Anyway, so. <laughs> Okay, what the is golden it? question. Sorry. No, go ahead. This includes you too, babe. Okay. The golden question. America versus South Africa. Sweets. South Africa wins by far. Yeah, I'll give it to South Africa. But I'm, I'm more used to it. So I'll say when Americans try South African food, 
he'll say the same because he's more used to America. Except for Biltong, I love Biltong. Yeah, <laughs> so but, like for you, it's South African or American candy? American. But yeah, he's you know, right. Our taste buds have adjusted. Yeah. I'll go South African. Now this guy, he's been around the world a, a couple times, so. He's been around, yeah. I've tasted candy everywhere. You're the but... Germans. The Germans <laughs> got nice candy. But I'm mm. not really a big fan of candy, so. All I know You're is... You're lying! No, this is <laughs> full tongue and bread. <laughs> but, if I have to say, because I'm born in South Africa, and I'm used to this candy, I'll say South Africa. Okay. No, that makes sense. Three to one, boy. Now, if you had to say, uh, if there's a difference between the two, other than the nuts, what? <laughs> the maturity um, level is off the charts here. <laughs> you started laughing first, <laughs> not us. <laughs> So I'll say it's much more. It's really it's more. It's more sweet than ours. Okay. Yeah. By well, the, the can. Well, if I look at the chocolate stuff, more sweet. But the, the and like our jelly beans are more sour mm. than okay. yours. So it's much more. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, I get more sweet. My tooth got pain easily with your candy. So it's really sweet. Americans are very sweet. It's partially the reason why Nikki oh, married that's me. That's so sweet, man. My sweet babe. And what about you? What do you think? What's the difference? You've actually lived long enough to try a lot more American treats than what we had today. If you had to make a general comparison. No, I definitely think South Africa wins. Like the no, only no, no, not not winning. What was? What would be the oh, biggest the difference between the two? Um, I would just say that South African candy tastes better. Okay. <laughs> that's 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 the difference. Differ yeah, that's the difference. It but what nicer. makes it better? Is it sweeter? Is it smoother? Um, is it? It's a little sweeter. I would agree with them. It's a little sweeter. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of too many differences because, like they said, there's a lot of candy bars that's similar to ours, mm. but it's like there's something different about. It. I I almost feel like you're. It's gonna not change. I don't want to say it. Oh. Say it. Like. It, uh, the aftertaste of your chocolate bars is almost a little sour to me. Just a little, little bit. No offense. Okay, no, but I think like yours are over complicated, if that makes sense. We put a lot right? in them. Yeah, you put too much in them. Yeah. You should just take a little bit out and it'd be better. And, and, is much more and this is just going off of the few things I did eat. Now, America, I will say, I mean, we have a lot of other things, you know. Cookies and cream, Hershey. Oh, I love uh, cookies and cream stuff. Yeah, okay. Cookies All this stuff. Cream. I love the cookies and cream, uh, the almond bars. That's probably my two favorites. And we're, like I said, I wish we had more like chips and stuff to bring. Mm. But a lot of the chips that we have, you guys do have. Like Doritos. But, but they have different flavors flavors, Doritos. yeah. They have cheese nips, which is basically Cheetos. Cheetos. You know? and... So I didn't focus too much on the, uh, the chip aspect. I know the hot fries because they're unique to America. Mm. For the most part. But if you actually think. think of it, South Africa doesn't even really have its own candy because all our candies come from like we've got like speckled food. eggs. And and they come that's... from Paris and England. Whatever. Most yeah. of our Australia. stuff comes from Australia. So yeah. a lot of their candy actually comes from the Europe and Australia. Yeah. We don't really have our own candy, but it's candy that South Africa prefers. It's the stuff they grew up on. Yeah. yeah. So if yeah. you're from those countries and say, hey, we have those too, we're not like saying it's only South African. We're saying. This is the candy they grew up on. Yeah. So we're saying South African candy. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually think someone got slightly offended that we were eating Afrikaans only like meats and stuff, not African food when we did our video. Yeah. I don't think people realize how hard it is to get African food. It's like, extremely but hard. Biltong is yeah. from South Africa. Yeah, Biltong. I like chakalaka. Chaka I love chakalaka, really but good. I could not find it in the U.S. anywhere. No. So it's not a thing in the U.S. If right? you're watching this, that person, you know who you are. We're not like being like forcefully ah we're only eating Afrikaans food we're eating the food that one when I was in South Africa we ate yeah and um, it was yeah. an African store yeah for the we, most part. we have trouble finding other types of African store if we do find an African store it's mostly like Nigeria and stuff like that and we don't have the same product as them so yeah yeah all right so that was it for this uh, <laughs> video hope you guys really enjoyed it um, this is just like a series of our time here one of the videos we did we also do did a video with the orphanage we did a video just find it going around seeing nikki so if you want to see any of those you just go to our channel and you go watch them mm -hmm. this should be the last of all of them so anyway these guys are whispering something you want to tell them what you're whispering like and subscribe oh Boom. otherwise <laughs> i'll delete your fortnite account mr beast boy okay
Who's that? I don't know. It's a YouTuber. I know Mr. Beast. I love oh Mr. Beast. Gosh. Anyway, Mr. Okay. Beast, if you're watching this, give us some money. Anyway, like they said, like and subscribe. <laughs> it is 2020 by the time this is posted, so Happy New Year's. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot of stuff planned for you. Yep. Ooh. See ya. Hit the notification bell. Yeah, hit that. Yeah, hit that. Adios.